Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be carrying on with the series of top 5 cosmetic loadouts for each class. I actually kind of want to wrap this series up pretty quickly soon so I can make the cheapest and usual series my main concern when it comes to like the list videos because you guys seem to really enjoy that and I want to make more of what you guys enjoy but I wanted to get this series out of the way first. So what I might be doing next week is actually prioritizing these videos and getting more of these type of videos out because I don't want this dragging on for another month or so while I make all of them I guess because I do have some other stuff to do and I do have other ideas I want to get moving on so maybe next week there'll just be like a couple of these instead of just everything else but there are going to be like some different videos because I do I don't want to bore you guys with just the same type of video over and over again. So let's get right on it with the heavy. At number 5 we have the fairy set. I think this set looks really funny on the heavy. Just because the juxtaposition between what you think a fairy would look like. Like the stereotypical fairy. And then you look at the heavy and he's massive. And it makes him look quite ridiculous which is really funny as well. This set is only usable during Halloween unfortunately. But if you have one of those eternal ween things. You can make it so you can have to sell all year round, which is really cool. You just have to get the whole server to agree with it, and then everybody brings out their Halloween stuff. It's brilliant. At number four, we have the wrestler loadout. This includes like the heavy lifter, pugilist protector, and the large luchador. This set actually really suits the heavy quite well, and I guess he's like the right size and right shape for it. I guess um, it looks really good if you want a cool looking heavy loadout. You could change the mask and the hat to something else, maybe like a bullet buzz and some shorts or something, I don't know. But there's there's quite a lot of changes you can make to this loadout that will still um, keep the like wrestler kind of strong guy look and look really cool at the same time, which is awesome. And at number three we have the Brown Bomber, Merc's Muffler and the Allfather. I just saw this set on Google and I thought it looked really cool considering it's freezing most of the time in England. You could really do with like warming up here if I'm completely honest. Uh, but the first, for the rest of the world, you might not know what a coat is because it's so hot over there or wherever you are all the time. So you don't really need a set like this. I wish England was sunny sometimes. Like just a, just a week, uh, like a random week, that would be great. Or like even a warm summer, come on, please. Can we just have a warm summer? That would that'd be nice. Thank you. And at number two, we have the Gabe Newell set. This set includes the Gabe glasses, Siberian Sophisticate, and the one-man army. I think this set actually looks really awesome and I think it's really cool that three different cosmetics in the game can make it look like Gabe Newell and I don't I know this was probably intentional by them but it's still pretty cool still pretty clever and I think the heavy looks really cool with all these with all this stuff on and yeah I definitely recommend getting this set if you want a nice looking heavy loadout. And finally at number one we have the Hound Dog Cuban Bristle Crisis and the Borscht Belt. I've probably said that wrong, but I don't think anybody knows how to properly say it. I think this set looks absolutely awesome, and it works quite well with each other. Like, it works really well together, which is, like, I like it, I guess. That's not a very good description, but it works. Um, you could change the Borscht Belt with whatever you really want, because the hair and the beard is the main focus. So you could... I don't know what the lumberjack thing is called for the heavy, but you could swap it with that and it would still look pretty awesome. So, yeah, I think the belt works really well anyway, and I definitely recommend this if you want an awesome heavy set. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. What do you think of the sets that have been featured in this video? Would you make any changes to the list? What is your favourite set for the heavy? I really actually want to know what your favourite set is because I want to kind of come back to this series at one point and make like a volume 2 of it because like my interests may have changed and you know I could feature some different sets for you guys to look at. I was actually going to feature the prices of these sets in the list but the prices of stuff changes so often especially with some of this more expensive stuff which is in some of these heavy loadouts that when, if you're watching this like a couple weeks or a couple months, maybe even a year into the future, the prices of them may be completely different. So you might plan out a whole loadout and not be able to do it.
but I might make another series after all of the ones I have finished, like all of these top tens are done and stuff like that. And that's going to be more like priced based loadouts. And I have a really, really, really cool idea coming out about prices and loadouts, which probably explains most of the idea. But I'm going to try and get some other YouTubers in on that idea. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what that is when it actually happens. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry if the mic quality is a little bit weird in this video. I am i don't have my mic with me because I was really smart and left it at my dad's. So I'm trying out my headset mic because I got a new headset and apparently the mic's okay on it. So let me know if you think it was any good. If I see some comments in the thing before they actually get to this part of the video saying the mic's bad, then I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, I would just use my actual mic for recording and then this for talking to friends, I guess. But it's all good. I just wanted to test it. And yeah, thanks everybody so much for watching, as always. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.